Hey, Ali, how's the ride? Yeah, good. Uh, what are you doing with those saddles? Getting ready to oil them down. They can do with it. Ah, uh, but we're going to need them tomorrow. No, we won't. I checked the bookings and they're spare. I don't mean for the riding school. I've got some friends coming over. Well, that's all right. They'll be dry by then anyway. Yeah. Look, I'd really hate for my friends to get oil all over their clothes, you know? Trust me, they won't. I've done this heaps of times. Dan, can you just leave it till next weekend? OK, sure. Thank you. Is your sister always like this, or is it just me? It's just you. That's what I thought. Poor Strudy. Are you sure he's going to be all right? Sure. It's only a minor operation. But you said he'll be at the clinic the whole weekend. Darling, that's just so the vet can keep an eye on him afterwards. All right. Bye, Strudy. I'm off. Enjoy your sleepover. Remember, if you need us, we are in Bremen at the wedding. Hmm? Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. Have fun, darling. Bye. <laughs> Okay, then you be good, Jackie. Come on, Josh, we're late. I'm coming. Good luck. All work <gasps> and no play makes Jackie an A student with zero life. What are you doing here, Emma? I'm saving you from death by homework. Come on, we're going to Australia. But Ali's not expecting us till tomorrow. Jackie, have you ever heard the word spontaneous? Surprise! <laughs> Emma? Jackie? Trust me, this wasn't my idea. We thought, I mean, I thought, it'd be fun to surprise you. It worked, I'm surprised. I knew this wasn't a good idea. Come on, let's go. No, 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 no. It's just that I told my folks you weren't coming till tomorrow, and I'm not really sure how to explain it. You don't have to. We can have a secret sleepover. Secret sleepover? Yeah, and in the morning, we're out of the window and turn up at the front door. Like we just arrived. <laughs> Excellent. When you feel the beat, there's no retreat. So go all the way, cause it's your day. You gotta tell the story and take the glory. Uh -uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, Funny, I didn't hear a car. Why well, did you come by magic carpet? <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's so oh, good to see I you. I missed you. Oh, I've been here so long. Oh, <laughs> she's gone. Yeah. So we've got the whole house to ourselves today. Mum's on a tour group, and Dad's taking Damo to the cricket. Mm, what about Dan? Oh yes, Dan. He'll be around. He's always around. Anyway, so what do you want to do first? What else? 
Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't. We were just finishing up. Hi, Dan. Hey, Emma. Jackie. Hi. That looked really good. You liked it? Yeah. Well, not that I know much about dancing. <laughs> Dan knows horses. That's what they say. Anyway, better keep moving. Catch you later. Why are you so hard on him? Me? Yeah. He's cute. Dan. Cute. I think all this Australian son has sent her blind. Totally agree. Sorry, but to me, he's just this guy who keeps hanging around bugging me. Anyway, <laughs> it's time for your surprise. Come Where on. are we going? Ta da! Meet Ricky and Prince. And they're yours for the whole afternoon. We're going horse riding? This is a riding school. Cool. Wow. Uh, guys, I've never actually been on a horse before. Don't worry, you'll pick it up in no time. But they look so big. And dangerous. Trust me. Horse riding is less dangerous than crossing a road in Singapore. And Ricky is the gentlest, sweetest horse we have. I picked her out especially. Come on, Jackie. Just do something totally unplanned for once. All right. But if I break my neck, you're the ones that have to explain it to my mum and my grandmother. And they won't be happy. Okay. Well, while I get organised, you two go back in there and get some boots and riding helmets. Helmets? Why do we need helmets? You said it was safe. Just... A precaution. Stop worrying. Come on. You're taking Prince out. Emma's riding him. Is that a problem? Could be. He's been pretty hard to handle all week. Prince hard to handle. He's one of our best horses. You just don't know him well enough. I know him, okay? Right now, his big problem is that. Dan, I don't need a lecture about these horses. I grew up with them, okay? Okay. <laughs> This thing feels like a rock. That's why it's good protection. But it looks so silly. No, it doesn't. Wait, I'll just... Take a picture. Don't you dare! <laughs> now, whom should I send this to? Nicholas? You do, and you'll be my ex-friend. All right, all right. Come on, guys, we want to get started before sunset. Ready to go. Speak for yourself. Listen to me. Try using your knees more, like I taught you. <laughs> so much harder than it looks in the movies. Hey guys, any chance we can break into a gentle trot? Emma, I can't even turn left and you want to run? <laughs> it's okay, Jackie, we'll keep it slow. Well, maybe I can ride ahead then? Or is that being too spontaneous? No, great idea. <laughs> we'll meet you at the river. Just stick to the main trail and you can't miss it. All right, see you there. Come on, Prince. Come on. Good boy. Jackie, you're getting the hang of it now. Doesn't feel like it. Can we have a rest soon? Oh, come on, Jack. Picnic spot's not too much further. Prince, stop! <laughs> this is the trail! Stop! Where are you going? <laughs> Prince, stop! <sighs> Great. Well done, Jackie. It wasn't so hard in the end. So, where's Emma? 
Maybe she got bored waiting for us, so we went for a little ride. Should we call her? Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> oh, gone straight to voicemail. Hey, Emma, it's me. Where are you? Uh, give me a call back when you get this, all right? She went back to the house. We should go back and check. Okay. Wait, you mean we have to ride back? Yeah, well, unless you've got a sports car stashed in your pocket. I so wish. Hey, girls, you're back a bit early. Have you seen Emma around? You've lost her. N not exactly. Yes, exactly. You put her on Prince, didn't you? Dan, Prince is a great horse. Yeah, except he's in love with the Johnson's mare next door. In love? That's what I was trying to tell you. He bolts down there every chance he gets. You can't stop him. Oh, no, we must have taken Emma with him. That's right. He'll just be down by the boundary fence trying to get close to his girlfriend. Is Emma going to be all right? I hope so. Look, Jackie, you stay at the house. I'm going to go find her, OK? Sure. I'll come with you, Ali. Uh, thanks, but I don't need any help. I know where the boundary fence is. Yeah, and I know where the me likes to hang out. All right, I'll give you a call when we find her. Good luck. <laughs> Miss Fong? Sweetheart, it's Dad. The vet's being called out on an emergency and needs Doodle picked up right away. Otherwise, the poor thing will be stuck there on his own all weekend. Okay? Uh oh. What's up, Jackie? I just found Emma's mobile, and there's a message from her dad. He wants her to pick up their dog right now. Oh, terrific. What should we do? No choice. You're going to have to go to Hamburg. Hamburg? Me? Jackie. If no one picks that dog up, Emma's parents are going to start asking questions. OK, I'll try. Hamburg it is. There he is, and there's the mayor. Bad boy, Prince. Yeah, but where's Emma? Emma! I don't know, maybe she's tried walking back. Or maybe she's fallen off along the way. She could be anywhere. Ali, don't panic. I'm not. It's just that Emma's not used to the bush. I thought you said she'd done a lot of riding. Um, yeah, but only in the city. I just hope she's not lying unconscious somewhere. Don't worry. We'll go back along the main trail. If she's fallen off, she won't be far from it. Trust me, she won't be anywhere near the main trail. Why not? Because there's a shortcut from the house to here, through the bush. Prince would have come this way for sure. I didn't know about any shortcut. Just proves you don't know everything. Follow me. Bet, 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 bet. Emma's friend. You dropped my phone in the water, remember? <laughs> no, it's okay. Listen, I really need a favor. Oh. Can I come this way? Which way is the farm? I know the vet. Our own dog goes there. Great. It's near the corner of Werderstraße and Oberstraße. Right. Which is where exactly? So you know where the shoulder blood is? Shoulder blood? <laughs> you don't know the shoulder blood? How long have you been in Hamburg? About 
15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes? Only joking. I mean, uh, that's how it feels. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. I'll show you the way. Are you sure you've got time? For you, plenty of time. Anything over there? No, nothing. Emma! Emma! Ali! Emma! Where are you? I'm down here! <laughs> Are you okay? I think so. I'm stuck. I can't get out of here. Yeah, I'm coming down. Yeah, hold up, Mr. Marcher. Why should you be the one who goes down there? Well, someone has to. In my case, I will. Okay, but why don't you let me give you a hand? I don't need it. And I've told you all along I can manage on my own. You sure about that? Yes, and I was managing just fine before you ever came along. Hey, guys, can you just stop arguing about who's going to rescue me and just get me out of here? <laughs> Your dance group's got a show on, that's great. Yeah, tomorrow night. Why don't you come? What? In fact, you should dance with us. Oh, no, I couldn't. We start at six. I could pick you up from your place. What? Oh, no. Would you rather meet you there? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, look, I'd love to, but I won't be in Hamburg tomorrow. That's okay. We're dancing next weekend, too. I won't be here then, either. You do a lot of traveling. Yeah. Look, I really would love to come, but maybe some other time. I'll call you, I promise. You'd better. Anyway, there's the vets. Already? Well, thanks for all your help. No problem. You sure you'll be all right getting back to Emma's? Yeah. I think. Look, I've got nothing else to do. I could help you take the duck home. <laughs> all right, you take her away. All right. Wait, even out. All right. How's it feel? Anything broken? No, it's fine. Thanks, both of you. That's all right. Always happy to come to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, like a knight in shining armor. You right to get up? We'll be fine. What is your problem? My problem? With Dan. He's such a nice guy and you treat him like a creep or something. I do not. Do I? <laughs> yes. Why? I don't know, it's just, ever since I came back from Singapore, it feels like he's taken over. Taken over? Yeah, like he's doing all the jobs I used to do around the farm. It's like he's trying to replace me and my own family. And that's why I didn't listen when he... <gasps> warned me about Prince. He warned you? Well, yeah, he <sighs> tried to. Sorry. Ali, reality check time. Reality check? From what I've seen, Dan's just a guy who loves horses. He's not trying to replace you or anything. That's crazy. You think so? I know so. And after today, it sounds like you owe him a big apology too. Oh, it's gone a bit far. No, it's not. <laughs> there you go, Strudel. Home safe. <laughs> Thanks again, Nicholas. That's okay. So, what you're doing for the rest of the day? Maybe we can go for coffee? I'm sorry, I don't have time. Tomorrow then? I can't tomorrow either. Uh, that's right, you're out of town, yeah? Uh, when you get back? I'm not sure when that'll be. Okay. Guess I better go. Wait, Nicholas! I know I must be acting kind of weird. I wish I could explain properly, but... Don't but... explain. It just makes you more mysterious. Me? Mysterious? And I love a good mystery. See you. <laughs> What's up, Strudel? You hungry? <sighs> dog food, dog food, dog food, dog food, dog food, dog food. Ah, oh, this must be it. We just fired up the barbie. You hungry? Oh, I'm starving. Me too. So, where's Jackie? Isn't she with you? Uh, we left her at the house. It's funny. She's not here now. 
Isn't she? Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Jackie. We're just starting to get worried about you. Sorry, Mrs. Henson. Had to take a friend's dog for a walk. I was just saying everyone's invited to the barbie. You too, Dan. Uh, thanks, but I better head home. I'll put away the horses first. What? You know. Dan? Don't worry. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm out here. I know I was pig-headed today. Pig-headed? Yeah, about prints and everything. Yeah, well, it happens. No, it doesn't. If I had to listen to you, none of it would have happened. I was in the wrong, totally. Is this some kind of apology? Not necessarily. Oh, that's good then. You had me worried for a sec. Why? Because I had you pegged. As the type of person who never apologizes, no matter what. That is so not true. Isn't it? Are you teasing me? <laughs> I might be. Oh, I am so not apologizing now. <laughs> well, then I won't have to change my opinion of you, will I? <sighs> what I was going to say was thanks for all your help today. Really? Yeah, and you should stay for the barbie. Why? Because you're almost one of the family. Almost. Yeah, apology accepted. That was so delicious. Yummy food, Mr. Henson. Well, thanks, girls. You can come anytime. <laughs> you live pretty close, don't you? W well, not exactly close. Here, let me take this. No, Dolly, that's okay. We'll get him. Sit down. Oh. I'll, I'll give you a hand. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh oh, look at the time. I have to go. Oh, already? Can't you stay a little bit longer? Sorry. Come on, Jackie. Not everything has to run a schedule. Honestly, Emma, I think I've had enough spontaneity for one day. Me too. Anyway, what time are your parents due back? Oh, uh... Oh, no, I have to get home, quick! <laughs> Emma, we are home! You're there, sweetheart? I'm here! Mum! Hello, darling. How was your day? Good. <laughs> Did you have any problems picking up Strudel? Um... Not really. Emma, why did you give him my beautiful marrow bones? I did. Well, nothing's too good for us, Judy, is it? too much time in the stables lately. He needs to burn off a bit of energy before this evening's ride. Would you be better off with another horse? Oh, Ali knows what she's doing. Prince will be fine. Besides, that leaves one of the quieter ponies for the paying customers. Fine. Far be it for me to argue against the experts. Nice to see you two getting along so well. We're heading into town. Do you want to come? Uh, sorry, Dad. Can't. Homework. Oh, come on. It's Saturday. I'll buy us lunch. No, really, I'm not feeling that great anyway. What's wrong? Nothing. I just done up for a big lunch, that's all. Well, maybe you'd better rest up then. I'm sure Dan can handle the sunset track by himself. No way. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, seriously, I'm happy to take it. No. No, I've always done that ride. But if you're feeling sick... I'll be fine. And he can forget about riding Prince. I'll take him. And here's me thinking you're starting to get along. Me too.
Emma, it's in the middle of the night. I'm on my way to dance practice. Uh, at half past four in the morning. What dance is it? A moonwalk? Very funny, Dad. We like the early morning practice. No distractions. Oh, rather you than me. Uh, when you get back, could you take Sudo for a bit? Sure, Dad. Thank you. And can you stop by the market and pick up some vegetables for lunch? Anything in particular? Hmm. Surprise me. And Emma? What now, Dad? Have fun. Enough for the nationals. Well, if we work in it, I don't see why not. Cool. And I love this music. Where did you get it? My brother Josh mixed it. It's kind of his hobby. Sounds pretty professional to me. I'd love to use it for some of my dance classes. You can keep the CD. It's full of his tracks, and I've got it all on my laptop at home. Thanks. Okay, let's take another look at that routine from the top. So, how is Josh, anyway? I don't know. Same as always. I mean, does he ask about me sometimes? He asks how you are and says to say hi when we talk. So, hi, I'm Josh. Uh, nothing else? Come on, Emma, you live on the other side of the world. I know, but I'd really like to see him. And I'm always here. Well, you know you can't. They'll find out about the chat room and then we're finished. I'm not saying I'd have to meet him. We could just watch him play football. He is so cute in his sports shorts. You never give up, do you? I will say one thing. When you saw that photo of Nicholas on my phone and I said he was your friend, I think Josh was jealous. Really? Oh, no, he doesn't think I'm going out with Nicholas. Relax, I said friend, but he definitely reacted. What about him? Please don't tell me he's seeing anyone. As if between football and music and school and computers, where would he have time for a girlfriend? Just between us, I do think he likes you. Oh, too bad there's nothing you can do about it. Now let's get a move on. I've got a horse ride to leave. Oh, and we'll have dinner at seven after Josh's football training. Quick, my room. One of these days we're gonna get caught. I know it. Come on, let's get going. My laptop, where is it? What do you mean? It was right here on my desk and now it's gone. Gone? Gone where? I don't know. Jackie, stay cool. Don't panic. Why not? It's our only way home. Without it, we're stuck here. Uh, maybe you put it in your bag. Please tell me you put it in your bag. I didn't put it anywhere. You came through my laptop this morning, remember? Somebody must have taken it. It's been stolen? That's it, we're dead. We're worse than dead. Mom, have you seen my computer? Oh, Jackie, I didn't hear you come in. My computer? Uh, Josh borrowed it. What? Yeah, he said he needed it, some sort of emergency. Where did he take it? Um, he didn't say, but he said it's all right. You can do your homework on his PC. Everything all right? Yes, everything's fine. I was just wondering. Thanks, Mum. OK. I promised to take the dog for a walk and go to the market for Dad. I have to leave the sunset trail. <laughs> Stroll's going to be busting. He'll make a mess in the house, and I'll have to clean it up. OK, don't panic. Just let me call my crazy brother. Hey, Jackie, what's up, huh? Josh, where are you? Clark Key, you won't believe what happened this morning. I got a call from Mandy Jones. You know, Mandy owns a gold club. They've got a party here this afternoon. Her DJ called in sick and they've asked me to fill in for money. That's great, Josh, but why have you got my laptop? I didn't have time to rip a bunch of discs this morning. Luckily, all my music backed up on your laptop. Listen to me, I need it back now. Oh. Uh, sorry, Jackie, what did you say? I said Josh? I need my laptop now. Yeah, uh, that's me. Hi, I'm Mandy. Are you the new DJ? Uh, yeah. Good. Well, do a good job, and you just might get a regular gig here. Yeah? Well, come on in. I'll show you the setup. 
Wish me luck, Jackie. Gotta go. Bye. Josh! Josh! <sighs> he hung up on me. Once our party kicks off, he won't be back for hours. How am I supposed to do the sunset trek? What about Strudel's bladder? He can't hold on that long. What are we going to do? <sighs> We've got to try to get her back, quickly. Wait, Emma, what if one of our friends see us? Then we'll say we're on a holiday. Yeah, and then they'll want to know where we're staying and how long for. We'll never get away with it. Well, have you got a better idea? Okay, let me deal with this. You two stay here. I'll call you once I've got my laptop. Can I just sit here? What if she needs help? Like what? I don't know, but I'm not just going to sit here and wait while we could be doing something. What if someone sees us? Then we're going to make them think that they're seeing someone else. Come on. Oh, careful, well, there she is. She'll kill us if she sees us. But we're only trying to help. Yeah, she'll still kill us. All right, let's just go in and hang around in the background. Watch what happens. <laughs> Come on, Emma, you just want to see Josh. Who, me? I don't care if I see him or not. Oh, good, because his new girlfriend might be there. What? Dark. <laughs> hey, check out who else is here. Chelsea and her toadies. Why are they dressed like that? Everyone's dressed like that. It's a Halloween party. So much for our disguises. Hang on, come with me. We're not beaten yet. You came like this track? Josh, I need to talk to you. I can't talk, I'm working. I need my laptop now. What? You crazy? No, just desperate. You stop bothering me, you're gonna get me fired. Sorry, but this is an emergency. So is this, this is my big break. I need my computer. I'll let you use all my music for your dance classes. You won't let me your laptop for a few hours, how fair is that? Is this young lady annoying you? Yes. Josh would recognize me in this. <laughs> Not even your own mother would recognize you in that. Oh, pass me that mask. He's my brother. I'm supposed to annoy him. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. What? This is fancy dress only. If you're not in costume, you're not allowed in. Josh, say something. See you later. Sorry, Jackie. Looks like you're not cool enough for this party. Now that DJ, he's seriously cool and cute. You stay away from my brother. He's your brother? How interesting. Please, this is all a big mistake. I just need to talk to my brother. Hey, Jackie. That's even worse. Say that. We'll be with you in a minute. What's up? The bad news is Josh won't give her the computer back and Jackie's been thrown out of the club for not having a costume. And the worst news? Chelsea's after Josh. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the shop. Why? Just hurry up. Jackie! Ali? Emma? We've got your costume. How did you get here so fast and how did you know it was fancy dress? Cool tea. Uh, never mind, what's the plan? I don't have one. Okay, then let's keep it simple. Let's run in, grab the laptop and run out. That's your plan. Never said it was a good one. We can't just take the laptop. Josh's the DJ, he needs some music to play. The CD we gave Michelle, that's got the exact same music as your laptop, right? Yeah, so? So can't we just swap them? But how do we track down Michelle? That's easy, she'll still be at the dance studio. All right, you go to Michelle, but hurry. We have to be home in 40 minutes. What about you? I'll keep an eye on Chelsea. I don't think that's such a good idea. Do you think it's a good idea? No, but there's no time to argue. Come on. Where to? The YMS Art Centre, Waterloo Street. And if you know any shortcuts, feel free to take them.
step and point, step and point, and grow up into a tree and turn. And chest, chest, hip, hip, jump out, clap and wave. Good job, you guys are really good. What the? Shell. Uh, it's us. Jackie, Ali. Sorry, we need that CD back. Uh, I'm in the middle of a dance class. Please, it's an emergency. What kind of emergency? Uh, no time to explain emergency. Okay. Whatever it is, I hope it's worth the effort. It better be. Thanks. Hi, kids. Boring, she's in five minutes flat. He doesn't look bored to me. Stop stressing. Oh, she's such a flirt. Emma, Emma, what are you doing? Just get ready to grab the laptop. I just mixed it a few days ago. No. What I mean is, like, I don't know it, right? But it just sounds so good, I feel like I know it, right? Yeah, sort of. Want to dance? I'd love to, but I can't leave the DJ desk. It's my first gig. Uh, come on, I bet the owner won't mind a little dance. I'd love to hang around with you. Really? Yeah. Maybe we could catch up after school? Got it, let's go. She's hidden to us. She's not even looking at us. Don't worry about her. Come on. We can't just go back to your place and leave her here. You don't have to go back to my place. All we need is my laptop and our phones, remember? We can send you home from the bathroom. Great. Poor well, Strudel. He's really gonna pay for this dance. Did. People like her should stay in kampongs where they belong. I wouldn't bother cleaning it. Josh seems to like the kampong girl better than you. We'll see about that. Move. Uh-oh. Oh, did you have to say that? I'm sorry. Chelsea brings out the worst in me. Well, we can't let Emma face Chelsea on her own. But what about the sunset trick? Oh, there's still ten to go. Come on. Hospital 
and make it quick. Get well soon. You're gonna hear from Daddy's lawyer. Oh, I wonder if they've got a cure for being a drama queen. Come on, you've got a trail ride to get to. Like Emma got a wish after all. She's going to end up telling Josh everything. I know it. We better move fast. Sorry, Stephanie. Time to go. Stephanie? <laughs> She's such a dip. She even forgets her own name sometimes. Only five more minutes, OK? But what about the vegetables and the strudel? But let's go. Bye, Josh. Hey, will I see you again? <laughs> you bet. <sighs> really know how to push your luck, Stephanie? Sorry, Jackie. Looks like you get to take the costumes back. How's it going with the chat room? Just loading it up now. You ready? Mm -hmm. I suppose so. What's wrong? Your wish came true. You and Josh had a great time together. Yeah, but he didn't know it was me he was kissing. He thought it was some girl called Stephanie, not me, Emma. Hey, at least he wasn't kissing Chelsea. Think positive. I know you really like him, but as far as he knows, you live on the other side of the world. Why do you always have to be so sensible? Because someone has to be. <laughs> hey, we better get a move on, or Strudel is going to be a poodle. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello? Is anyone in there? Stephanie? Hello? Fine, Ellie. It's all under control. But I always take this trial, so give me two minutes to saddle up, okay? I don't think so. You've been off in your room for hours, not even answering the door. But... So your dad asked me to lead the sunset trek, and that's what I'm going to do. You're welcome to tag along if you like. So is everybody ready for a ride into the sunset? Yeah. Let's go. to join us after all. I wanted to apologise. You're right, I was a pain and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Anyway, I'm kind of glad things turned out the way they did. Why? I finally get to lead the sunset trip. But I thought you did that while I was in Singapore. Your dad wouldn't let me. He said it was your special ride. He put it on hold till you got back. Really? I never knew. Your parents really missed you. Your father only suggested we do it together because he thought we were starting to get along. Looks like he was wrong. Was he? You tell me. Truce. Truce. So, I've heard you get the best view of the sunset from Madison's lookout. That's what they say, but it's not true. Wiseman's Gap, that's the place. You ought to know, you're the expert. You really surpassed yourself this time. The secret is the fresh chai sip. Where in the world did you get it? Sorry? The chai sim. I thought it's impossible to get this time of year. Unless you live in Singapore. <laughs> it's just this little shop in the east. You must show me where it is. Yeah, sure. Um, I've finished my lunch. Can I go to my room? Of course. School. So why didn't you just say? You wouldn't have listened. You were too busy being a super cool DJ, remember? But it turned out okay anyway. They won't be back next month. Congratulations. 
Now, if you give me back the wig, I can get back to the girl who lost it. So, this Tiffany, is she a good friend or what? Are you interested in all my friends? Not so long ago, all you talked about was Emma. But that's the thing, that's who she reminded me of. Really? It was like, if I didn't know Emma was in Hamburg... Which she definitely is. I know. It's crazy, right? Any chance she might be coming back for a holiday or something? Would you like that? Yeah. Very much. Hey, isn't that her room? She hasn't heard any of this. What do you think? Can you see her there? Now get out of here or I'll tell her you kissed a vampire. You can come out now. <laughs> Feel better? Much better. Thanks, Jackie. Don't worry. I'll ask a favor in return one day. You never know. I might even give it to you. He loves me. He loves me. He didn't say. I'm running away already. I said you weren't home from school yet. Thanks. But you are now. Dad! Damon! Allie's home! Shh! She's so gonna get it. Whoa, Allie. Not so fast. Uh, Dad, can this wait till later, whatever it is? I'm we gonna... need to talk now. We just got the bill for your mobile phone. I know, I might have made a few extra calls this month. $153. What? And 25 cents. No way, it can't be. Way to go, Ali. I always knew you had a big mouth. I think I've got some jobs to do. I'm so sorry, Dad. I don't know how this could have happened. Oh, I do. You're using that phone far too much. But I needed to talk to my friends. We can't afford another bill like that. So unless you can find a way to cut down on your calls... I'm sorry, darling, we're going to have to take the phone away. Why did I say yes? A 30 minute talk about my time in Singapore. Complete with computer presentation? You'll be fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> yes, it is. It's our project week. Our geography class is doing city states and it asked me to do a talk about Singapore on Friday after school so all the classes and teachers can come. Look on the bright side. They must think you're pretty good to even ask you. And if I blow it, I'll be a complete loser. That's what I like about you, the power of positive thinking. <laughs> there you are, Ali. What kept you? I mean, the end of the world as we know it. How did you hear about my presentation? What? I mean, my parents just got my phone bill. I think my dad's gonna take my phone away. Without my phone, all this is over. No more Hamburg, no more Singapore, no more chat room and no more dancing. But can you just pay for it yourself? Yeah, in theory, but not on my pocket money. What about a job? Doing what? That's the downside of living on a farm. All my spare time's taken up helping mum and dad. Hello, dad. What? Now? Okay, okay. I'll go and see ya. Bye. What's up? Our neighbour, Mrs Hoffman. She keeps wanting me to walk a dog. She even offers to pay. Hey, stop complaining. At least someone wants to give you a job. Yeah, but you're so busy, aren't you, Emma? Wouldn't it be great if you had a friend that could help you out? Maybe someone who was short of money? Like me. But what would you think of me walking a dog instead of you? Maybe we won't tell her just yet. Now, don't forget, Feeders is a pedigree. His great-great-grandfather was a grand champion of the Hamburg Dog Show. Isn't that right, Feeders? Really? So I want no frolicking with other dogs. Is that clear? Yes, Mrs. Hoffman. And don't walk him too fast. He gets tired easily. Not too fast. Got it. And here is his water and his bowl. Feeders only drinks natural spring water. Isn't that right, Feeders? Only natural spring water. Very good, Mrs. Hoffman. So thank you for walking him, Emma. <laughs> I wouldn't trust anyone else but you. As a matter of fact, I do have a friend who's very good with dogs. Let's not worry about your friend now. Fides is with you, and that's all that matters. Okay. Hey. Allie, meet. 
Fetus. Fetus, meet Ali. Hey, Fetus, how you going? Oh, isn't he cute? I'm more of a cat person myself. <laughs> now, remember, Miss Hoffman is very fussy. She loves Fetus like a baby. Maybe more than a baby. Ah, we'll be fine, won't we, Fetus? Everything you need is in here. Water bottle, dog treats, and plastic bags. Plastic bags? Yeah, for picking up the you-know-what. Ew, too much information. Good luck. I'll meet you back here in one hour. Wait, where are you going? To start preparing my speech on Singapore. Don't worry, you'll be fine with Fetus. Me? Why do I have to stay too? As a backup for Ali. Just in case. Call me if there's an emergency, but only if there's an emergency. <laughs> How good is this? I'm getting paid to come to Hamburg to go for a walk on a beautiful day like today. Well, I'm glad one of us is getting paid. Look on the bright side. At least you're not home doing homework. That's what I'm worried about. I've got a Cantonese assignment to do. Hey, check it out. Hamburg dog walking service. Looking for staff. Maybe I could turn dog walking into a full-time job? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, what do you think, Fetus? Do you want to go for a run? Wait, Ali, remember what Emma said about Mrs. Hoffman? This dog is like a baby to her. Ah, he just wants to play. Here, yeah. come on, Fetus. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Jackie. Nicholas. What are you doing here? Uh, she was just heading off to do her homework. Won't you, Jack? Homework? Who cares about homework? Right, Ali? Whatever you say. No, we were just hanging. Maybe I could hang with you, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Fetus! Breakthrough! Oh, fetus! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Emma, that's for you. There you are. One hour's dog walking money. Oh, excellent. She asked if I wanted to walk Fetus after school for the coming month. Until a regular dog walker comes back. She did, and what did you say? I said I'd think about it. What? Emma? Ali, she said after school. Remember the time difference? Four o'clock in the afternoon is like one o'clock in the morning in Australia. She's right. Please, Emma, I want this job. I need this job. If I can do this for the next month, I can pay my phone bill for the next year. And I don't mind helping out from time to time. <sighs> okay. Looks like you've got a dog walking job. Go on, walk the line, because it's worth a fight. So it just must be right to keep the drums alive. Time to go home. How's the study going for your Mandarin test? Huh? Oh, fine. Look, I know you're a total brainiac, Jack, but um, Mandarin's hard enough without the book being upside down. What? I don't think he's showing today. Who? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Nicholas. Please, Ali, just five more minutes. You really are desperate. No. You just. Really is cute. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll see him again. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> Do what you gotta do.
So I was talking to Michelle yesterday and she thinks we need some more spark to our freeform dancing. <laughs> Any suggestions? She gave me a DVD she wants us to watch. It might give us some ideas. Hey, Ali. Hey, guys. Are you okay? You look exhausted. Thanks. Nice to see you too. No, really. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Absolutely. Michelle gave me a DVD she wants us to watch. Oh, right. So, I haven't seen Nicholas in the park lately. Really? Just because I had seen him once or twice when I was helping Ali with Fetus. I've been wondering how a cat person like you turned into a dog person overnight. So, have you seen him? Yes, and he's been asking about you. What did he say? He said his dance class is doing a performance for Project Week and would you like to come? <gasps> he did? What did you say? I said you'd love to and he'll text you later. <laughs> Ali, did you hear that? Ali? Ali! Good boy, Fetus. Good boy. Yeah. Ali! Oh, sorry, guys. This no sleep thing is really starting to get to me. Well, maybe that's because you're pushing yourself too hard. But I need the money. If I don't have my phone, I can't use the chat room. Well, what's the point of having the chat room if you're working so hard you're too tired to dance? I know. You're right. You need to find a way to work smarter, not harder. <sighs> come on, come on. What's keeping you? About time. Sorry we're late. She's getting ready for a date with Nicholas. It's not a date. I'm just going to see him dance. Yeah, right. All right, let's go. I've got to pick up Fetus, and I've got to be back at my school in 20 minutes. <laughs> now, Mrs. Hoffman said for me, I mean you, to be extra careful with Fetus today. He's just been washed and shampooed. <laughs> he doesn't look any different to me. He smells different, like my grandma's perfume. Whatever. The thing is, you have to get him back smelling as sweet as when he left. Just don't let him roll in anything. <laughs> Gotta run. Good luck with your presentation. And good luck with your non-dates. I'd better get going too. OK, have a great time. I will. Do I look OK? I mean, like, really OK. You look so hot, you could stop traffic. Thanks. Dog walking service? Uh, my name's Ellie Henson. Hey, Emma. Hey, Veronica. Some friends and I have planned to go to the movies this afternoon. So? So, we can't now because we have to be here watching you? Right. <laughs> this presentation had better be good. Great. No pressure, just what I need. Worried you got lost. I didn't miss your performance, did I? No, no. I'm on in a while. Just promise you won't laugh. Why would I laugh? You're such an awesome dancer. <laughs> you might think my stuff's kind of average. Don't worry. I think you're pretty hot. I mean, a pretty hot dancer. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you around. Now, I am the leader of this pack, so what I say goes. Hi. Next stop, Heinz Park. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to a special Project Week presentation. For the past two years, Emma Schubert has been living in Singapore, and today she'll be presenting a talk about life in that wonderful city. Emma? Thanks. The island country of Singapore is not only the smallest nation in Southeast Asia, but it's also one of the only three true city-states remaining in the world. It's also home to some great food, pretty cool shopping, and some hot dancing. Sorry, guys. No stick or ball chasing today. Everyone stays on the leash. I'm getting paid per dog to walk you lot, so we all stick together. 
I am so tired. Okay, dogs, leader of the pack, Ali says we take a five minute break. Come on. You sit, me, rest. Sit. <laughs> Good dogs. Right. We'll just have a rest for a moment, okay? say that my time in Singapore has really helped open my eyes. It's been great to experience another culture firsthand and I go back there tomorrow if I could. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for listening. Well, and thank you for a fascinating presentation, Emma. Um, next, we might take some questions from the audience. Emergency? So, what kind of emergency? If anyone has anything they'd like to ask Emma about her time in Singapore. Anyone? Venus. Where's Fetus? I'm sure Emma's only too happy to answer your questions. Yes, Veronica. Where's the best place to get Singapore chili crab? What? Emma? Oh, um. <laughs> Emma, are you all right? Yeah, it's just late onset Singapore chili crab food poisoning. What? Sorry, I've got to go. I mean, I've really got to go. Uh, of course. Sorry, I'll be right back. I mean, in a while or longer. Ali, where's Venus? What's going on? And what are you doing with all these dogs? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Well, it better be a good one. I just walked out on Nicholas because of you. Uh what are you doing with all these dogs? Uh, I thought if I could make money walking one dog, I could make four times the amount by walking four dogs. The Hamburg Dog Walking Service. But where's Fetus? I, I was just so tired. I must have nodded off for just a second. Ali! He ran away. Uh, but I tried to catch him. But how could you be so... Dumb, stupid, greedy, irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, and that too. I was just so worried. I knew that if Dad took my phone away from me, we can never dance together again. That's the only reason I did all this. It's all right. If we were in your situation, we would have probably done the same thing. Except for the really dumb bits. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry about Nicholas. And I'm sorry about your presentation, but I have to find Fetus. And I can't do it without your help. OK, where did you see Mars? He was running this way, but he was running so fast he could be in Switzerland by now. So what's the plan? We could split up and take a dog each? Sorry, I am a cat person, remember? I only like dogs when they mean I get to see Nicholas, who is never going to speak to me again. Well, maybe we should split up. We'll cover more ground that way. But we don't even know which way he went. It'll be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, and I need that needle, I mean, fetus, to be home in 15 minutes. No! <sighs> Hi. Excuse me. I don't suppose you've seen a runaway dog? Not some little fluffy thing still on its leash? That's him. That's Fetus. Yeah. He ran right out in front of me. I had to swerve to miss him and ended up hitting the tree. Look at my wheel. It was a brand new bike. Did you see which way he went? No idea. Uh, look, we're gonna have to split up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Keep these mutts away from me. One pest a day is enough. Uh, excuse me, that pest wouldn't have happened to be a cute little dog by any chance. Stupid thing. Ran right under my feet as I was unloading these crates. Don't worry, I'll be back later to pay for the damage. <laughs> Feed us! Oh, here, boy! Feed us! Feed us! No use, he's gone. We can't find him anywhere. Oh, I have to take these other dogs back to the dog walking service. What are we going to tell Mrs Hoffman? Oh, we'll just have to tell her the truth. That you lost him. Me? Well, I wasn't even meant to be walking in. It was your idea. I was just trying to help. Whoa, settle down, you two. We'll take these other dogs back first, and then we should tell Mrs. Hoffman the truth. The real truth. Hello, Emma. Uh, hi, Mrs. Hoffman. I'm afraid we've got some bad news. Fetus? Where's Fetus? Well, you see, it's like this. <coughs> Fetus! Fetus? <coughs> oh, Fetus. Where have you been? What have you rolled in? Uh, if this is how you take care of my fetus, then you can forget about ever walking him again. <laughs> what a day. What a disaster. Hey, look on the positive side. At least it was just an ordinary average disaster. Could have been a major mega disaster if you guys weren't there to help me. That's what friends are for. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about everything. Like ruining your date with Nicholas and your presentation for school. Who cares about school? I care about Nicholas. Don't worry. When I see him, I'll explain. I'm sorry about Fetus. But you can still walk those other dogs. No, that's it for me. No more dog walking. I'm just too exhausted. But how are you going to pay your phone bill? Maybe I could lend you the money. Oh, thanks, Jackie, but that wouldn't be right. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I always do. Whatever you do, don't give up. No way, Jose. Say All right. Morning. Oh, morning, darling. Morning, sweetie. Um, we've been looking at your phone bill again, Ali. I know, it's bad, isn't it? No, we, we noticed that all of the calls are to the same two mobile phones. Yeah, Jackie and Emma. They are my best friends. Yeah, we know that. And believe me, we are not out to make your life miserable. We just wish there was some way we could make the calls cheaper. What about a flat rate plan? Pardon? Damo, what'd you say? A flat rate plan. Like this one. It'd cut that bill by heaps. Although, the way Ali talks, it'd probably still cost a small fortune. He's right. And I could probably pay for it myself. Probably. Just. Hold on, not, not so fast. Your dad and I have been talking and there are a lot of jobs that you do around here. So maybe we can come to an arrangement. You mean? We'll put extra money towards your phone bill, within reason. If Damo can come up with a cheap plan, who knows, we might end up paying the whole lot. You will? Thank you. Damo, can I see that? Uh-uh. I think you owe me for this one. What? Well, if you don't want it. All right, all right, I owe you. Big time. And don't you forget it. Oh, can't wait to talk again. Oh, sorry, what was that? Uh, I mean, after I switched to my new bed. Jackie, you promised. Don't you dare pull out now. Let me finish. I was about to say, I guess I could put it off till tonight. We're teaching you well, aren't we, Jackie? All your bad habits are rubbing off on me. Trust me, it'll be worth it. The weather is perfect here today. We've got blue skies and sunshine. Oh, and Mum and Dad are taking Damon to a horse sale today, so we'll have the whole place to ourselves. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's a surf carnival at the beach. Surf carnival? Is that like music and 
dancing on the sand? <laughs> no, more like a sports day in the water, which means plenty of cute guys in swimsuits. <laughs> this is sounding better all the time. You two are terrible. All right, see you in half an hour and don't forget to bring your towels. Bye, Ali. All right, see you soon. Hey, Jackie, you see my spare trainers? Trainers? How would I know where your trainers are? I was just asking. Why are you dragging out your own beach towel? What beach towel? Your only beach towel, the one that's in your hands. Oh, this beach towel. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I haven't seen it in years. I thought I'd lost it. Don't tell me you're actually going to the beach. I can go to the beach if I want. There's no laws against it out there. You never go to the beach. You're the most non-beach person I know. Well, maybe I've changed. People do change, you know. Not this much. Okay, now if you don't mind, I'm going to go and get ready. Unless you have any objections. Boy, which side of the bed did you get out of this morning? The good side, the one furthest away from your room. Oh, sisters. Got the catalogue. Is Damo ready yet? Oh, Damon, where are you? In bed. Did he say bed? Sick in the tummy, that's all. Mm, you're very warm. Am I? I'll get the thermometer. You're pale too. I think you better stay home. But Mum, I really want to go to the horse sale. Sorry, sweetheart, not today. What's happening? Well, I think Damon's picked up that virus that's going round. But I saw him picking the footy this morning. That was before I felt sick. Shh, shh it's okay. Ali, I know you had plans, but we can't afford to miss this sale and someone's got to stay with Damon. But, Mum... Please, Ali, we need your help. We're here. Hey. What's up? Why aren't you dressed to the beach? It's all off. Guess who has to babysit? Babysit who? My darling brother. I was so looking forward to the sun and the surf. And all those cute boys. <laughs> Sorry, but you guys could always go without me. We're not going to do that. No way. It's no fun without all of us together. Um, I can't go anywhere, so it's up to you guys. I don't know. Maybe we should just go home. You just want to get back to your maths assignment, don't you? No, I don't. But if we're not going to the beach, we may as well make use of our time. Hi, guys. Did I hear the word? Beach? What are you doing up? Weren't you meant to be sick? I'm feeling a lot better. You little sneak. This was all an act, wasn't it? So when do we leave? I don't want to miss the surf carnival. You pulled this whole thing off so you could tag along with us to the beach? Well, why should you guys get all the fun? Come on, let's go. You're not going anywhere, Buster. Well then, you'll have to stay here with me, won't you? Fine, I will. Ali, can we talk about this? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to let him win. Ali, this isn't about him winning. This is about us getting to do what we wanted to do. And if he wants to go to the beach and we want to go to the beach, then what's the problem? The problem is he set the whole thing up. I agree with Ali. If we let Demon go to the beach, we're just rewarding him for lying. Exactly. And at the beach, I'll have to watch him the whole time and make sure he doesn't drown or get eaten by sharks. <laughs> Tempting, as that sounds. So we just hang around here getting bored to teach him a lesson. If you ask me, we're all better off going to the beach. Good point, Emma. You should both listen to her. Damon, go back inside. But you're talking about me, so why can't I have an opinion? Because your opinion doesn't count, so nick off. Well then, can I use your computer? No! Boy, who's Miss Grumpy today? Our little brother's always like this. Put it this way, you are so lucky you're an only child. <laughs> She's got on speed, Del.
Never believe what just happened. Oh no. Give me that. Jackie! Emma! I've got a problem. What did you do? Nothing. Just hit a few speed dial buttons, that's all. So then what happened? Well, it was like I travelled to different places. What kind of places? Well, I kept going into this white nowhere place, which was kind of freaky. And then I went to this sort of room that was all futuristic. Everything was shiny with lots of books. And then I went to this sort of old-fashioned room and it had all these weird dolls. Weird? They're not weird, they're just... Emma! So you've been there too? No? Never? I don't know what you're talking about. What happened next? Well, then I came back here. And the whole thing happened in just seconds. It was incredible. I just zapped from place to place, like, instantly. So you know about this. You do, I can tell. What is it? Okay. You weren't supposed to find out about this, but since you have, there's a few things you need to know. What are you doing, Ali? It's okay, we might as well tell him the truth. <laughs> what? Ali, this... Trust me. Okay. Firstly, you need to know that you didn't actually travel anywhere. Yes, I did. I know I did. No, no, I know that's what it felt like, but... That's what this thing on my phone is designed to do. What thing? It's a... Uh, it, it's a computer game. A new computer game. Uh, yeah, an amazing computer game. No way. I've played heaps of computer games and none of them were like this. That's because it's new technology that no one else has yet. Exactly. It's the start of a new generation of virtual reality games. Virtual reality? That's right. It creates 3D environments that are so real you think you're actually there. But I was there. I know I was. Oh, it's okay, Damon. I know how real it feels, but it's just an illusion. No, it wasn't. I don't care what you say. I know it was real. Wait, I think I can prove this to you. You can? Yes. <laughs> Follow me. Are those the rooms you visited? I mean, you thought you visited. Yep, that's them. How come they're on the computer? Because those are the models for the 3D images you saw. See, the rooms looked exactly like that, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. See, Damon, that just proves it. It was all computer generated. It wasn't real at all. It seemed so real. Think of it like special effects at the movies. They seem real, don't they? Yeah. Well, sure had me fooled. So the most important thing is that you don't tell anyone, OK? Why not? Why not? Uh, because... Because this is a top secret beta version that we're testing for a software company. And if the other companies find out that we've got it, they're going to try and steal it. Oh, that's so cool. So not a word to anyone, all right? Don't worry, guys. I know how to keep a secret. Great. I need to understand. So, can I play it again? Now? Again? I don't think that's such a good idea. Definitely not. No way. Well, come on. Why can't I be part of the test crew? Bet I've played heaps more computer games than you have. Mm, look, my battery died. Sorry, Damon. Yeah, right. OK, put it on charge. Because I want to play when we get back from the beach. I told you, we're not going to the beach. Ah, uh, yes, we are. Ah, uh, no, we're not. Fine. But if we don't, I'm going to tell Mum and Dad everything. This is bad. Very bad. And it's only going to get worse. Now 
don't wander off without us. I'm 11, I can look after myself. But Mum put me in charge, okay? Okay then, buy me a hot dog and an ice cream. What? Make that a hot dog, an ice cream, a drink and a packet of chips. No way. Oh, so you want me to tell the whole world, do ya? Worse and worse. Do ya? Be right back. What do we do now? Just wait for him to throw up. Ali, this is serious. I know. If Damon tells somebody who knows anything about computers, they'll guess right away it's not just a game. And once word gets out, it's over. It'll be taken away for testing, and we won't be allowed near it again. We'll lose the chat room for good. It's all my fault. I should have been more careful. Especially with a snoop like Damon for a brother. But there's no point blaming anyone. We just have to work out what to do next. You're right. So, any ideas? Me neither. Hey, girls. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm in the surf ski race. You mean you ski in the surf? Not quite. Uh, this is a surf ski. You paddle it out and catch waves. Sounds hard. Not really. You should stay and watch. Anyway, got to get organized. Catch you later. Well, you were right about the cute guys in the swimsuits. <sighs> I've told you before, Dan isn't cute. He's just a guy from next door. Hmm. Uh, sorry to interrupt, <laughs> but has anyone seen Damon? He was sitting right next to our backs. Well, he's not anymore. I knew this would happen. Come on, he can't have gone far. He's back there! Quick, he's about to get on the bus! so desperate to come to the beach. Where's he going now? Home, I bet. Ali, have you got your mobile? Uh, yeah, it's in here. Oh, no, you must have taken it. Hello? You stole my phone. You're in such big trouble. Hey, I only borrowed it. Anyway, you lied to me about the battery being flat. Damon, you can't play that game. It doesn't belong to you. I just want to show a couple of my mates, that's all. You can't show anyone. We told you, it's top secret. Chill, OK? I'll make them swear not to tell. Be blood if you like. This isn't a joke. If you don't get off that bus right now, I'm going to... He hung up. We have to get back to your place to stop him. But how? The buses only run from here every half hour. Great! By that time, they'll be poking around in my room in Hamburg. Or my room in Singapore. Isn't there any other way we can get back? Dan! Dan! Hey, Ali. Everything all right? Uh, to be honest, I need a favour. It's kind of an emergency. Emergency? What happened? Uh, there's no time to explain, but we need to lift home urgently. Sure, I can ask Dad if he can give you a lift. Oh, could you? That'd be a lifesaver. Oh, bad joke. Oh, come on. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Price. Thank you. I'm telling you, mate, it's like nothing you've ever played before. It's so real, it'll blow your head off. Gotta go. Get her as quick as you can. Bye. Back so soon? Cut the chat, just hand over my phone. No way! It's all arranged. Finn and Oliver will be here in a minute. But you said you'd keep it a secret. No, I didn't. I said I knew how to keep a secret. Totally different thing. Is your brother planning to become a lawyer? Trust me, he's not going to live that long. 
All right, what do you want me to do? What do you mean? What's it gonna take to stop this? What if I do your chores for a week? Hmm. Two weeks? Uh, a month? Hmm. Tempting, but no thanks. Look, I'm not trying to upset anyone, really. It's just that this thing is way too cool not to show to my friends. Okay. I really didn't want it to come to this, but. Give me my phone! So, where do we go from here? Well, simple. Hey, madam. Joke. Joke! That'll be stupid friends now. Coming, guys! Quick, it's left your door open. We have to find it, and we've got about 30 seconds. This place is a pigster. If you drop something in here, it'd disappear forever. Ugh. I know. Call my phone. Good idea. Okay, you do that and I'll keep a lookout. It sounds like it's in here somewhere. Ring it again. Ali, are they coming? Uh, sounds like they're taking their bikes out the back, so that gives us another minute. Found it. Junk. Oh, fantastic. Now we just take it back and tell Damon and his mates to nick off. We could do that, but it's only a short-term solution. What do you mean? Emma's right. Even if Damon doesn't get his hands on it today, he will sooner or later. And then we're back to square one. So what do we do then? We have to find a way to kill us off for good. How do we do that? I have an idea. <sighs> well, better be a good one, because here they come. Can you store them? I'll try my best. Believe me, guys, this game is totally amazing. You won't believe what you're seeing. Yeah, yeah, you told us already. About 50 times. There's no way it can be Death Machine 5. That's the best game ever. Not. Hi, boys. Can I have some pre-game refreshments? If this is a bribe, it isn't going to work. Oh. Well, if you don't want chocolate chip cookie. Hey, we never said that. We would never say that. Come on, fellas. She's just trying to store you. <laughs> it works for me. Me too. Well, I'm not falling for it. What did you do? You'll find out. And so will Damon. <laughs> OK. Time for the big demo. Follow me. You are about to see the most amazing virtual reality game ever. It's so hot, you believe you're actually teleporting through space. Yeah, right. As if. I know it sounds incredible, but you wait. So who wants to go first? Me. Go ahead. I still reckon Death Machine will beat it. All right, Finn, here's the phone. I thought it was a computer game. It is, but it works through the phone. Just hit speed dial two, then three, then four, OK? Whatever. You're certain. Don't worry. Is something supposed to be happening? Um, maybe you didn't press it properly. Try again. <laughs> Gee, that's so amazing, Demo. Yeah, I'm blown away. I'll give it here, I'll show you. I don't get it. It worked fine before. What did you do? Easy, just deprogram the speed dial buttons. And since he doesn't know our pin numbers, he can't go anywhere. Brilliant. If this is a joke, it's lame as. Yeah, and you look like a goose. But it did work before. There must be something wrong with it. Go on, tell them. Tell them what? You know, that it's a top secret new game and you're testing it. <laughs> That's a good one. Damon, you really need to stop making up these stories, buddy. Haven't your parents told you that? I'm out of here. Me too. Wait, guys, come back. Guys! <laughs> <laughs> So where are the rats, are we? I'll have my phone back, thanks. Now that you've broken it. I didn't break it, I didn't do anything to it. The game chip inside is very sensitive to magnetic fields. You didn't hide it close to any magnets, did you? Um, 
Sorry, I didn't know. Great, so now it's busted for good. Well, can't you get another copy from the software company? <laughs> they don't want any extra copies floating around in case they fall into the wrong hands. We even had to pay a deposit on this one, which we'll now lose. How much? A hundred dollars. And since you were the one to break it, I think it's only fair that you pay for it, don't you think? Me? But it was an honest mistake. I don't remember honesty playing a part in it. Neither do I. But I don't have that much money. Well, then maybe you can pay it off out of your pocket money. Do I have to? Well, unless there's something else you can think of to make up for it. L like what? Slave, what happened to our smoothies? They're coming, okay? And my pillow needs fluffing. Urgently. <laughs> Mine too. Here, one banana and two strawberry smoothies. Thank you, slave. By the way, where's my foot massage? And I just gave one to Jackie and Emma. Mm, well, that means it's my turn. Oh. Of course, if you'd rather me empty out your piggy bank every week. Fine, okay. Sometimes there's things you can't explain. You have to find another friend. Mm. Quick, Mum and Dad, sick bird positions. It's your domain. You've got to stay your plan. Hi, everyone. Hi, girls. Hey. Hello. Ali, how's the patient? Well, he was bad earlier. Mm. But he's getting better. Much better. How are you feeling, Demo? Fine. Aren't you lucky having these girls looking after you? Yeah. They really took care of me, all right. No, oh, He got everything he deserved. Isn't that right, girls? And more. <laughs>